Hello everyone and welcome to another iMindMap 10 tutorial. This one's going to be about fast capture view. It's a nice and quick one, it's very simple to use. We're going to make my about fast capture itself. So we get presented with this opening bubble, the very first, and from here we can add new ideas by simply clicking the add button near the top and then without doing anything else, simply just typing in the word that we want in the bubble. Once you have an ancestor, you can simply click back on the central bubble to take you back to the center of the, the canvas. And you can just build up your ideas like so. So from here, it's very easy to move bubbles around. You just click and drag them. If things get a little too cluttered at any point, you can organize that. Uh, you can delete bubbles from this icon up here or even edit the content within them. You can customize the style of your canvas so you can show or hide ancestors. In order to do that, what we'll do is from intuitive, we can add say, simple, or we can add self-organizing since the bubbles readjust themselves so they don't cut each other up. And so you can see from intuitive here that we have a plus two. That means there's two ancestors coming off it. If we go back to fast capture and we go to hide or show ancestors. We can make those appear or disappear just to give ourselves a little extra level of organization. You can also add images and icons to these bubbles. So for quick, uh, let's just get somebody running. And he goes straight in there. Uh, for colorful, we can get an artist's palette. There we go. So they're straight in there. You can also add icons. So these are the same icons that are available in the mind map view, the time map view. Uh, they're available in brainstorm view as well, I believe. Um, and once you click on them, they will just be added to the side of your icon. You can also very quickly hide images and icons without having to go to each bubble individually by clicking on the customize style button at the top and just toggling your images. You can also change the curved shape of your lines by hitting the toggle edge shape and that changes them from straight to curved or vice versa. And you can also change your canvas background using the canvas button at the top. As per mind map view, brainstorm view and time map view, you can attach things, either web links or files to the individual bubbles. You can also write notes in for yourself. You can apply tags and you can format your trees as well. You can change the color of the bubbles like so. And that about covers fast capture view, really. It's a very simple but powerful tool that allows you to just infinitely and very quickly expand on any ideas you might have before you take them into brainstorm view and mind map view for further development. Hopefully you found this useful and I hope you enjoy using fast capture view.